Are you an adventurer who enjoys the great outdoors? And if you answered yes to that question, stick around. I have some tips and tricks to hopefully keep you safe. Um, but first, howdy my peeps, welcome back. And if you're just tuning in for the first time, welcome, I appreciate you. Um, so let's, how's about we get started? This one's gonna be a doozy. Uh, it comes with a warning label. Warning, may hurt your feelings. Um, but, let me just say, the leading cause of outdoor activity related deaths is arrogance. It's people who think that they um, don't need to be prepared for situations when in reality, the more prepared you are, the safer you're going to be. So, 53% um, of deaths that happen at national parks are unintentional, accidental, and most likely avoidable. So, on average, 2,000 people get lost each year. Um, all because they don't stay on the beaten path. That's, that's ridiculous to me. Here are some tips and tricks to hopefully keep you safe. And that is, number one, always let someone know where you're going and when to expect you back. That way, if, say, you're not back when, you're, when you said you would be, they can get the process started on getting a search party out there to find you. I'm, I know that poop happens, so you just never know when a scenario is going to turn bad. So if you have that in place, you can rest assured, if you're, you know, stranded out there, that in a couple of days you'll probably have someone find you. So that's, you know, just a little peace of mind. Um, second trick or tip would be to pack a bag. A bag that stays packed for the most part um, anytime you plan to go hiking, camping, or fishing, or rock climbing, or whatever. Um, it's a bag that you always take with you for those for said outdoor activities. And in my bag, I have things like uh, a flint, I have a poncho, I have toilet paper, a knife, a uh, a uh, compass. Um, I always have like a couple of cans of tuna with me and I already have a, a cheap, you can pick up a cheap can opener um, that will get the job done so you don't have to worry about well how am I gonna get into it. Well you can also get those little pouches and have a couple of pouches of tuna with you which are really easy to get into. Um, and then Big, biggest thing and probably most important, aside from letting someone know where you're going, is to always make sure you have plenty of water. Like, more water than what you think you need. Uh, a minimum would be a gallon. Just take a gallon with you. I know it seems like a lot. It's, it's added weight. You don't really want to carry it. But trust me, in a situation where you're stranded, you're going to appreciate the fact that you have that water. And then... Um, prepare for, like, if, if you're in a, in a hot environment, such as I live in Arizona, it gets pretty damn hot here, so prepare for that as well. If you're going to be out doing outdoor activities, carry more water. Like, lots more water. Um, obviously, whenever I get back from whatever it is I'm doing, I take the food and the water out of my bag. Everything else stays in there, and it's ready to go the next time I need to go. So... Really, I mean, just be smart about it. Let someone know where you're going, carrying plenty of water, stay on the path. And then this one's important. Maybe don't go outside of your your expertise level. So like if you're a beginner, stay on beginning uh, paths. If you're an intermediate, then stick to intermediate paths, so on and so forth. Um, don't go outside of, of your comfort zone. Um, stick to what you know. Uh, just don't take silly risks. There's no reason for that. And that's pretty much all I have on this topic. But, uh, on my first video, I challenged you guys. And that challenge is that if I get to a thousand subscribers between that video and the middle of next month, whatever the most asked for color is, Whatever the most common uh, 
color is down in my comments is what I'll dye my hair. So that's my, that's my challenge to you. Help me get to a thousand subscribers, comment down below what color you want me to dye my hair, and if I reach that within a month, so by the middle of next month, then I will dye my hair whatever the most asked for color is. But that's all I have for you, so until next time, stay happy, healthy, and most of all, blessed. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life I never really put up a fight